Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. Um, this tutorial is going to install the Android application development environment on a Mac. And the Mac version that I am installing this on, uh, just so you know, it's probably going to be compatible with everything, but if I go about this Mac, I've got a Mac OS X 10.6.8 and uh, this is a regular old MacBook Pro. It's got a pretty good size hard drive, which is good, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, not not a bad specs these days for a Mac. Uh, it is kind of old. It's not one of the most current. I think this is Snow Leopard that's on it, but um, it is compatible. And so I'm going to run through the install and get your environment uh, set up uh, for application development with the Android. And uh, the first step, and these are the instructions that I used in the last video for the Windows platform. So some of them we can skip uh, because it's actually much easier on a MacBook. Um, so again, uh, if you're following along, uh, see if you can do this while you're watching the video. Uh, it'll make everything go smoother. Uh, the first step actually in instructions is to make sure that you have Java installed. Um, if you have a MacBook Pro or MacBook, you probably do already. Um, and so you're probably not going to have to do any type of install. In fact, if you open up a terminal window, let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, if you can't find terminal, terminal, uh, what you're looking for is uh, it's kind of similar to the DOS prompt. It's a terminal shell window, and uh, you can find it in the utilities directory of the applications folder on a Mac. Um, but it, uh, to make sure that you have uh, Java installed, I would type in Java C, and um, let me make sure this is big enough so you can see it. Space minus version, and you can see the version number that you have, and you can see from this one I have 1.6.0 underscore 29, which is the most current. If you don't have 1.6-ish, uh, you have 1.4, 1.3 or something, you might want to upgrade. And uh, the order to upgrade is actually kind of easy. Um, you just go to the Apple icon and go software update. So if you have an old Java version on, most likely you haven't done a software update in a while. Um, Java is installed automatically on the Mac's OS X, so you don't actually have to do anything at all. Um, but make sure your Java C, when you run it, uh, just to verify the version, or uh, you can type in Java C. What you're going to get is a bunch of uh, command statements, uh, because I didn't type in the name of a file to compile it. Um, so what you're going to end up with is uh, a bunch of output like that. If uh, you get a bad command uh, kind of message, can't find it, can't run it, doesn't know what version you have, Fix your Java install first. Uh, make sure you've got the Java JDK installed. You don't need the uh, EE version. The SE version is just fine, and the SE version comes with um, with any Mac operating system these days. Uh, so it's already installed for you. And because we are uh, on a uh, Mac, we don't have to worry about the Windows uh, control panel or settings uh, in terms of the environment variables either. Uh, so verify that you've got Java installed, and then we move on to the next one. The next one is to install the Android operating, uh, Android SDK. And the Android SDK, we're going to install version 4 like we did on the Windows system, and this one was uh, released in October of 2011. This is as of this video, it is currently December 2011. Uh, so I'm going to assume that this is the most current uh, version as of the making of this video. Obviously, uh, a year from now, uh, you're probably going to want to get the most current version. So what I've done is I've clicked on this link. You can uh, copy. Here's this link here so you can see it. Copy it, paste it, put it in your web browser, click on it, open it up. When you click on it and open it up, you're going to get the main page uh, for the Android SDK. I had it up for a few minutes ago. Actually, let me just, here it is right here, actually. Make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. I brought up my Safari browser, and I'm at the Android 4.0 platform. And um, this is where there's actually a lot of nice material out here. Um, you can uh, there's a development guide that you can click on and go through different articles about the framework. And I'll be talking about the framework in a, this series of videos that I'm going to put, be putting together for Android application development this term. Um, so you can. You know, there's a lot of self-reading that you can do. There's actually some videos. Let me see if some videos are actually. Let's see. I haven't been out here in a while. Uh, there's some Google videos, it looks like, uh, on Android tips and stuff and advanced topics. Oh, it looks like a IO boot camp for beginner's guide to Android and stuff. Lots of help out here. 
Uh, but this video is going to walk you through it, and then the next video I'm going to do is going to put together a little Hello World program for you and basically start you from the beginning. Uh, so if I go back and I click on the SDK, which is what I really want, um, I want to download and install the SDK. Um, so I believe if I go to that link without clicking on anything, it should have taken me directly to the download screen. Um, clicking on the link right now. Should open up my browser again. Hold on a second. Up oh, there it is. Yeah, it's going to take me to the download screen automatically, which is good. I just wanted to see where that link took me. So I'm going to click on download. And if I click on download, I've got the uh, OSX. This is an Intel. This is uh, one of the newer OSXs. So I'm going to click right here, and it's going to download the file for me. It's going to take a few minutes. Uh, it is uh, about 30, 29.1 megabytes. So uh, I'm going to download it here. And then once I download it, I'm going to unzip it. Most likely you've got a unzip utility already installed on your Mac. If not, you're going to need to pick up like a PKZip or something or uh, stuff it or something like that for your MacBook to unzip files. Because what we're going to do is I kind of unzip the directory and then uh, what we're going to do is uh, just copy it into, um, into one of our folders. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably just put it in my home directory so I can keep everything organized. That way I know I've got some. As I'm downloading it here, I'm going to kind of prepare to find it after I've downloaded it, uh, which is probably going to be in my download directory. So I go to my computer. Uh, let's just go to home. I see the uh, downloads right here. There's the SDK right here. So I uh, look in the download directory. Uh, this is where you're going to find this Android SDK once it downloads. Uh, go back to my status, actually, and kind of see. My windows open already. Uh, let's see, no, I don't want that one. There it is, right here. This is the one I was looking for. Let me make sure this thing uh, finishes before I try to execute it. So it's a zip file, by the way, uh, but it is made for the Mac. So it's not a DMG file. It'd be nice if they made it into a Mac compatible DM DMG file, but uh, they didn't. All right, so uh, it looks like. Uh, my download here in a, a Safari actually unzipped it for me automatically, uh, which is nice of them. Uh, so if I go back to uh, the directory here, I see the Android SDK that got downloaded. Um, I'm going to actually move this file because I don't want to keep it in my downloads directory. Instead, I'm just going to copy it out here on my uh, desktop. and. Um, I'm going to go into my main home folder here, and I'm going to stick it in here. Because I like everything all in one spot. So I'm going to stick it over here. And uh, I'm going to actually rename it. I'm going to rename it Android. So I'm going to get the file information here. And let's go over here. Just makes it easier for me to remember what it is. Yeah, kind, of a, kind of simple that way. Now if I go back to the instructions. I don't need this page anymore because I got the file that I needed. And what I downloaded was the Mac OS X here, and this was the SDK. And uh, basically, uh, that's all I need. So if I go back to the instructions, my instructions are uh, going to be unzip the Android API into any directory. So I downloaded it, unzip it. Well, it unzipped my Safari browser, unzipped it for me automatically. It was in my downloads directory. I moved it to my home directory. I don't really have to add the tools directory to my path. It's going to already be there, so I, don't, I can skip that step uh, because I'm not on a Windows machine. I don't have to worry about this whole path thing. But uh, we can test it now by uh, typing in Android uh, from a DOS prompt. Um, I think uh, what I need to do, though, is actually I'm not going to test it yet because I already know it's going to work. Um, but what I need to do is kind of run the SDK packages for Android. So I'm going to double click on Android SDK Manager. Um, so I need to go back and find that uh, directory that I had there a few minutes ago. Here it is. I'm going to open up the Android folder and uh, I'm going to see tools. And in the tools directory, per the instruction here, uh, well, it doesn't say, but in per the instructions, there's going to be an Android manager in here. Uh, so let's see what I've got here. Uh, I don't actually have the Android manager in here, do I? 
configuration manager. Well, okay, so that step was removed uh, from the current API. And uh, I'm not going to worry about it, though. I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. And because uh, we can install it through the Eclipse uh, IDE, which we're going to download next. So I'm not going to bother. Um, if I see Android, it's going to open up. Uh, run the tools. I think Android is actually going to run the SDK manager, and it did actually. Okay, so here's what I sort of did. Um, I was kind of curious, so I, I double clicked on this thing called Android. If I uh, go into a uh, terminal prompt, I can probably achieve the same thing. In fact, I'm going to close this for a second, and I'm going to go to a terminal prompt and kind of experiment here, play around with this a little bit. Uh, looks like that one ended. And I'm in the terminal prompt, and I'm going to just type in Android, see what happens. And uh, so it's no longer called Android Manager. It's now, uh, well, it is, the, it is the Android SDK Manager, but it comes up if you type the word Android. So in this particular case, uh, that's what I did. Um, so this is the same instruction that we did for the Windows machine. In fact, uh, this part's going to take about two hours, uh, hour and a half to two hours, depending upon your download speed, actually. Um, if you want, th that is. I'm going to skip it because I don't really, I don't really actually need it because we're going to use the Android 4.0 uh, for most of the examples that I'm going to run. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, in fact, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll click on Android here too. 3.2, and I'm also going to click on Android 3.1, and uh, Android 3.0, let's do that. So I'm not going to use anything past 3.0. What, what am I clicking on? These are different versions of the Android API, and uh, if you watch the news and stuff, you'll see. Um, actually, I want the tools, too. Um, you'll see that uh, it's been upgraded like every six months or so, and the last one, the 4.0, just came out. This is the one I'm talking about that just came out in... Um, October 2011. So what I did is I, I clicked on the things that I wanted to update to, uh, and this is the SDK manager. What this does is it goes out and updates itself because every time a new update's out, you've got to run the SDK manager to add it on. Um, so I, I picked these tools up here as well. And you see on the right-hand side where there's says status, this is not installed, not installed, not installed. Uh, so what I'm going to do is now install it. So if I click on this down here where it says install 15 packages, uh, this is the part I said it's going to take about an hour or so, but I'm going to go for it because uh, I want I want, this, want to install this stuff. So I'm going to click on install 15 packages here. And uh, I'm going to accept all. So I'm going to click right here where it says accept all. Otherwise I have to go through all of these and accept them individually. Um, and what, what am I accepting? I'm, I'm agreeing to download from that. Android repository, all of this information here. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to install. And so now on the bottom of the screen here, as you can possibly see, there's this little status indicator. This is the part I said is going to take about an hour ish, uh, maybe longer, because um, this indicator has got to go from here all the way to the end, all the way to here, uh, which, you know, it's downloading a lot of stuff. It's downloading one, two, three different APIs plus the Android tools. Um, and also it's downloading the, you know, actually four APIs because I'm getting the current one as well. So I've got, uh, uh, I don't know what I did. I clicked on something here. Oh, this is a message. This is the uh, the log that's showing you as it's writing things to the log. Um, what I have in the log here is uh, that it went out to this FTP directory. It, found, it fetched and found all these APIs I wanted to download. And now it's fetching them. And now it's installing it. I can close the log. I don't need the log um, running, so I'm just going to close that log right now. You can see right down here, I didn't close the screen. I just closed the log, and I'm still running. When it says five minutes left, it doesn't really mean there's five minutes left of the download. That's for this particular one, API number 14, uh, which is this one here, 4.0. It's just starting to download. So what I'm going to do is uh, zoom out a little bit, take a look at the instructions to kind of see what we're doing while this is running in the background. So I'm going to leave that running. Um, so what we're doing is installing the SDK packages for Android. So I double clicked on Android SDK Manager. Well, it wasn't called SDK Manager uh, on my system. It was called Android. So you remember, um, if you're doing this on a Mac, the, the, the command, either open up a terminal prompt or double click on uh, the batch file that runs Android, that actually, it's called Android. 
and it brings up the SDK manager. And then I clicked on install on the default sections. Actually, I selected a little bit more than just the defaults. And now they're downloading. And um, I have to you make sure you have an internet connection when you're doing that. And it's going to take an hour, hour or so uh, to download. And then uh, that was step number eight that we're actually on right now. And then when we're all done with step number eight, we're going to go to step number nine. Was, uh, when the SDK finishes, we're going to click on available packages and make sure that they're there and that they all say that they're installed. And uh, uh, some of the archives might be old. And they might need to be. Uh, might, might, I, I installed some of the old archives so I can work with more examples. The reason why. Actually, let me go back to that screen. The reason why I did that, I installed this, because sometimes you're on the internet, you find some examples, and the examples are written in the older API. Because uh, 4.0 just came out not too long ago. Uh, so, I'm probably not going to bother with anything 2.3 or below, but you know, it might, I might have some 3.0s out there that I might want to work with. Uh, so, for backward compatibility reasons, I downloaded some of the older ones. So. And as you can see here from the bottom of the window, my status is still going. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is uh, pause the video and end the first part of it and start the second part of it once this download has completed. Otherwise, you're going to have to sit and listen to me talk for another hour, which is kind of boring. Uh, so when we come back for part two of this video, I'll be starting in with step number nine. And step number nine is just going to have, or actually, it's just going to verify that the install completed correctly and that the things are available. And then for step number 10, we're going to download and install the Eclipse browser. And then inside of Eclipse, we're going to uh, configure the Android packages. And then at that point, uh, I'm going to run a little Hello World program. So you can kind of get the impression, hopefully, that the, the install for the Mac is quite easy. It's just going out, downloading that Android SDK finding it, downloading it, not that bad, copying it into, uh, I, I just copied it into my home directory, uh, double clicking on or running Android from terminal prompt, selecting these packages, and then um, selecting to install these 15 packages. If you installed more here, I, which you probably could if you want, you can install it all if you want, your download's going to take longer. Uh, so don't be concerned if it takes a about an hour. I suspect this is going to take, you know, approximately an hour, maybe hour and a half to two hours. So I'm going to pause the video now and then uh, leave the screen up and then uh, kind of make it bigger, I guess, too. So when we come back uh, for part two, uh, you're going to see this completed and uh, we will pick it up from this point and install Eclipse. So uh, Come back, start your download, and uh, come back when your download uh, of the Android SDK Manager, when this is complete, come back and start part two. So this is the end of part one.